got you going in the third? Uh, nothing. I mean, I feel like I'm always in a, uh, I'm always locked in to play, and whenever my name is called, I gotta go out there and make shots and shoot good shots. Um, and that's what happened at the end of the third. I felt like I had some great looks. So I was able to finish them. Did you determine? I think you guys were down by about a dozen, like three minutes left. Did you determine that you had to be more aggressive in hunting your shots? Um, yeah, I felt like I got I could be more aggressive um, around that time. Um, Kai came out the game, so I knew it would be a lot of um, attention on me to score. So I tried to keep that in mind as well. But I felt like I got some good one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and with late help, that I was able to shoot over and. Then the three threes. Um, what I think got it started was the five free throws. When I came down, he fouled me on a three, and then I got the bonus. We was in the bonus, and I got the free throws there. And so, and that's what kind of started those three threes at the end of the quarter, which got me going too, got us going, got us over the hump. So, just trying to put my foot on the gas and be aggressive to score, and that opened up the rest of my teammates. Kevin, you had like 20 points in three minutes of the final three minutes. I mean. When that's happening, I mean, are you even thinking, or what is it like to be like that? Uh, I was, I, I usually know what, you know, how many shot attempts, and, um, but when I forget, that's when I really know I'm like super, super in the zone, you know, when I don't um, know for sure what my shot attempts, what my points are, and, uh, you know, I felt like the ball was coming to my hand so fast, so I couldn't even process it in my mind, and, you know, I looked up, and I'm like, damn, I got 39. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I had that much. <laughs> uh, but I was, it was good to get back into the game and, and give us some momentum and energy. Our bench was up. Uh, our coaches was, were up the whole fourth quarter, so I'm glad that little spark gave us a, gave us a push there. I, I saw when you went back in the game in the fourth quarter and you kind of looked over at Kyrie and you just went like that. I mean, like you knew, yeah, you, you, yeah. knew you guys were headed in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were just trying to get over the hump the whole game. I think early in the game we got down too big. It was a 35 or 21 quarter. And when you're down 15, 16, you just want to break that 10-point mark and get it under 10 and see where you are from there. So I think we were fighting for that the whole first half. And then in the second half, we was able to cut that lead early in the third quarter. And that's when I, I felt like we were in good shape. Chuck was saying he thinks that you're still getting better even at this stage of your career. Night to night, can you feel that still now? Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, I never know how opposing teams are going to guard me, what schemes they're going to throw at me. Sometimes there's some new stuff that I haven't seen before. And, um, but at this point, I've seen a lot of different coverages over the last couple of years, so I'm trying to stay prepared for that. So that's definitely how I can keep getting better, is just reading the defense even more. Um, and my next step is just to maybe predict what's coming next from the defensive side of the ball and, you know, watching more film to see the tendencies on, on uh, the guys on guard, stuff like that, you know. So trying to be focused every game and trying to um, stay in it and be locked in every game. And, you know, that's a battle when that's league, especially traveling so much and back-to-backs and stuff like that. So I'm trying to be on point every possession. Did they double you? It seemed like they ran a good amount of doubles at you. When you were taking those threes, I mean, was... You reading the doubles and saying, "All right, you know what? I'm gonna get this out before." Yeah, yeah. Because it looked like you motioned. Uh, I think maybe it was Utah or somebody in the court. Yeah, Edmund, yeah, yeah. The space it for yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Um, I felt like those threes in the end of the third, they they didn't know what they wanted to do on their coverage, um, whether they were going to drop, saying a drop, or trap the ball, or just switch it. And I felt like they were indecisive a bit, and I was able to get free on some of those three pointers and. Um, you know, but the fourth quarter they made a good adjustment and just running guys at me and Kai, and we had to make the right decision. I think you to hit a big three in the corner. Uh, we generated some good looks. We just, we, uh, I want to say Ed hit a three two. Um, so we're still working on that. Like when teams run and jump us, what's our alignment after that, and how we going to make plays after that. So that's more so what I was focused on. You've had some great stretches throughout your career. When you look at the efficiency you're playing with and the way you're helping everybody else top to bottom. Do you think this is the best that you've played in your career for this long of a, a stretch? Uh, I, I just think mentally I, I understand the game a little bit more. Um, I'm not too surprised by anything that's thrown at me. Um, yeah, so I, I could say I'm on a different level of mentality wise than I was as a younger player a few years ago. Um, but I feel like I had some great stretches of basketball before. 
Um, but this is pretty solid. I'm having fun. I'm knocking down some shots right now. So um, I, I know I can't compare. I try not to compare. Um, but I feel mentally I'm getting better and I'm starting to understand the game on the level, on a different level than I did before. In the first half, at least, it looked outwardly that Nick struggled a little bit defensively in the first half and came back into his own in the second half. Um, did you, do you agree with that assessment? And in your mind, was that just kind of him thinking too much in the first half and just going on instinct in the second, or was it something else? I just think it was all of us. We all was off on defense. Um, we gave up. Was it 55? Yeah, 54 points. I mean, um, no, that was us. 71 points in the first half. Like, that's not us and all of us. So I, th I felt like we were all off. And then I think that third quarter, we was able to get on the same page finally, be more physical, up the pressure, and we was able to get some stops, string together some stops in a row, which got our offense going. Uh, Ben's been, I think, he was a defensive player of the year, runner-up. You've gotten all defense votes. I haven't. I haven't got all defense. You got a vote last year. You got a vote. vote. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll I take that vote. Uh, I'll take the right. one vote. You got one defense yeah. vote. Yeah. Uh, it is what Nick does when he's playing well defensively. Is that pretty much irreplaceable for this team? For what, for what you the way you guys want to play? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what he brings is unique. I mean, we don't... It's tough. It's, it's rare that you have a center that can guard perimeter players, guard point guards, and block shots at the rim like that, and you know get up and run the floor. So yeah, he's he's irreplaceable for what we what we doing. Um, you know, I think he could play different ways on both ends of the floor. He's energetic. He's young. You know, so yeah, he's irreplaceable for what we're trying to do.